That was crazy good! Yeah, hello everyone, welcome back to this lovely channel that you found uh, from the dark side of the internet. Today we are uh, collecting tears, hopefully. Uh, why we are so freakishly slow? Did someone die? Oh, never mind, okay. And how about uh, a fell tower? How about that? Did we actually die out of curiosity? Hmm. Yeah, it was quite a sight. Oh yeah, I traveled uh, for my uh, liberal arts uh, degree. I mean, there are a lot of tall structures nowadays, but... but just something about the way it stands alone in the horizon. It sounds nice seeing all those places up close. I wonder if it is different from the pictures. Are you kidding? Of course it's different. The picture is much more cleaner. The actual place is a fucking dump. <laughs> and the smell of piss! <laughs> it's standing beneath a proof of civilization, close enough to reach out and touch story. I hope you anthropology uh, professor shares the same level of enthusiasm. I sure hope so. The fell tower, the pyramids of Giza, the great wall of... somewhere. Honestly, I've always wanted to go to. Then why don't you? I mean, if I'm able to save up for a trip, I'm sure you could do. No, it's, it's just... I don't have the time. No have the time? What a lame excuse! <laughs> I know you're busy, but surely you can spare a few weeks. It's not that. I chose my part a long time ago, Quincy. I have to find a place where I'll leave a mark, but I don't know how long I have to get there. It's nice catching glimpses of the scenery as I go, but... If I were to stop and smell the roses... I'm afraid I realize how nice it all is and just stay. I see. No you don't, Quincy. She's fucking dying, Quincy. That's quite a dramatic way to put it, but it's also kind of romantic. No, it's not. Reminds me of those stars in the sky. Huh? Like uh, they shine and bright in the earth below, but cannot be part uh, of this world themselves. Uh, y yeah. Something like that. Something like that. Something like my dad said a long time ago. <laughs> Our time here is so limited, I always feel such a pressure to make something of it. Well, I guess that's always had a different effect on me. Or me. When I think of how limited our time here is, I cannot help but I want to simply enjoy it while it lasts. I guess it's kind of selfish in comparison. There is nothing wrong about simply wanting to experience the world. Sounds like uh, something my grandma will say. <laughs> I mean that in the nicest way, of course. Of course. I just, uh, she's always live uh, one day at a time in the purest sense. Were you and your grandma close? Sure, my parents passed away in the accident when I was young, so she brought me up. Oh, I'm sorry to hear. Well, it was a long time ago. But I remember when I, it first happened. People thought grandma was heartless because... Well, because she seemed to move on with her new life and routine rather fast. But I knew it wasn't because of that. She still grieved and reminisced about them every day, missing them. But she just had this view of life. She was just grateful to be here, to take the blissful with the tragic, to be reborn each day. She always joked that even if the world ended tomorrow, She'd still be okay with it. Even if the world ended tomorrow. I am here. I'm not sure if I'm able to live today... Today like that. Me neither, but I guess it did rub off on me a bit through the years. She passed away not long before we first met, actually. Oh, she dead? Developed Alzheimer later in life. Okay, that's rough. And complication got her. When we first met, is that why you went on that trip? You know, when you told me about the paper uh, when I came back, I really questioned the path I'd chosen. 
I thought there's someone whose work could make a difference. And uh, here I am, just pressing through life for myself. This is not exactly an altruistic choice on my part either, to be honest. It's more like uh, an impulse. In a way, I wish I could feel content just being carefree and having fun, but I can't. Sometimes I wonder if I'd be bitter about it, it and end. No, well, that's a good question. Well, sounds like maybe we could keep each other in check. Maybe we could. Are we both dead? Hey, what do you think uh, if... Uh, if... I mean, I know we hang out now and then already, but... Uh, what if we do that? But more. More? Like, I know this place outside campus that makes the best avocado salad. Are you asking me out? Well, if you put it that way... <laughs> if you... if you... I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, I guess I am. Guess we are. Let's go, Quincy, my boy! Both Quincy's here to witness everything. I don't think that's a good idea. Okay. Well, it's cause I'm a liberal art mayor, isn't it? Uh, yes, that's... yeah. That's basically it. I know, I'm just kidding. But it's okay, I got it. No hard feelings, let's just... I'm sick, Quincy. I'm fucking dying, Quincy! I've been since I was a kid. Every morning I wake up, I'm... I'm never sure if I'll take a turn for the worst. I'm a time bomb. Was that our song? Time bomb? Yeah, I know it's a really important moment, but we kinda already knew that. So it's not like uh, telling, saying it out loud <laughs> is gonna make us like, woo, wow, surprise, plot twist, oh my god. Yeah, I'm a terrible person. <laughs> oh, sheesh. And Quincy in the path of her, to her demise. Oh, damn, I'm a heart of the bastard. That's what I was thinking. Probably, likely, perhaps, maybe. Quincy? <laughs> Went for another trip. <laughs> I guess I can be quite an ass. Wait, but I cannot, if I cannot remember any of this, uh, is it really me? I guess so. <laughs> you, you, you're always gonna be our bot, Quincy. Excuse me, is this seat free? Uh, it's taken, sorry. Damn, Quincy! Damn, Quincy! <laughs> Damn, Quincy! Damn, Quincy! Damn! <laughs> Holy shit! Move on, my dear! Move on. See? Liberal arts! Not as worthy. <laughs> Damn. Damn, Quincy. Damn. Be a dick about it. That's all I've got. But the barriers are still standing. Uh, okay. Wait, why does it feel like I can pass through it as if I never existed? Oh, 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 that? Okay. But why didn't that work on all the other ones? I'm getting powerful. I'm entering the zone. I'm becoming like Faye, like extra power. Damn. Surprise. Can't commit the motherfucker. Can't no motherfucker commit. Is she going to get some investor or something? You made it! That jacket... Is that the last time I saw you? Sorry, I saw her? Yeah, I got your message. Oh, that's a lovely dress. Thanks, it's a bit chilly though. I thought we were going somewhere indoors. Oh, wait a minute. 
When I say to dress well, I meant warmly. Uh, cause of the freaky cold weather from the, tonight. And uh, you know, snow in the autumn. Oh, I, I, I get it. Sure. <laughs> Let's go with that. Uh, you want me to pull this uh, move on you, huh? <laughs> Let's go with that. Let's go with that. Let's go with that. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't have any social skill, right? So, <laughs> still like that? <laughs> let's go with that, yeah. Yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> well, no, that, whatever. Well, uh, yeah. Test pass, uh, score one for Quincy. Come on, follow me. Hey, really, it was a honest mistake. <laughs> Hold on, I just gotta make sure everything's still okay up here. What is this, a birthday party? Okay, good to go. But maybe you could blindfold yourself for the surprise? No, no, I'll refuse! I don't think that's a good idea, walking up the stairs. Good point. Okay then, just walk up really slowly. I'm gonna dash! Ta-da! Surprise! Uh, is that? That's right, the fell <laughs> tower. Did you, did you disappear for three straight days to do that? <laughs> three fucking days, my friend! Three days! Three huge orbs I had to get! Three orbs! And you're laughing, of course. No, no, I love it. Uh, exactly rather thoughtful. You make that for me? Of course! I mean, uh, you wanted to see the world, right? Damn. <laughs> okay, 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 much better. Much, much better. Much, much, much better now. You got, you get five... You know what, I give you these three, three points for it. Three points. You get three points out of this, okay? So okay, anyone recognize any of this? Huh, no offense to the real thing, but this is actually kind of clever. It is, right? Wait, what do you mean by no offense to the real thing? <laughs> okay, we got the Ophel Tower, a classic. Stonehenge here, lovely. Was it a Sydney one? Next stop, Stonehenge. Oh, neat. Does the cafeteria uh, know that they're missing trees though? Oh, those are trays? I return them in the morning? Wouldn't the wind, you know, take them out? I mean, I know it's in Australia, I don't know where. Is that Sydney? Yeah, Sydney. Yeah, Sydney. Yeah, Sydney Opera House. Okay, I remember. I remember it was a theatre and I was in Sydney. I wasn't sure 100%. percent i love to see the opera one day. Why wait when you can do it uh, right now? Wait, what? On oh, second thought. Oh, he was singing. Oh, damn. Jesus Christ. I actually don't recognize this. Is there supposed to be room with David? Michelangelo's David, I think. I mean, I'm not Michelangelo. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, I got it. <laughs> I'm a. Uh, yeah, okay. I still know shit. But. Duct tape? Really? Yeah, duct tape? Really? Hey, I'm on a bargain here. Cannot draw a nice cock. <laughs> I mean, it's take a while and I still have a dick. <laughs> I have to draw that cock there. Okay, now the next one. Okay, this is interesting. What is this? I think this is the, the wall of China, I believe, perhaps. Because uh, they even use the Chinese uh, takeout stuff. But what is this? What the heck is this? A, a stair? Is that the moon? What the, what the heck is that? Oh! Is this London? Uh, uh, London uh, Big Bang? Sorry, London I was, <laughs> I was thinking something else. Is this a Big Bang? It's not Big Bang, but it's a ban. Yeah. How? It's a pizza clock? Always. 
Okay, we got it. We got all of them. Lovely. <laughs> so far. Behold, the decent wool. Somehow. <laughs> to take away. Oh. I want to believe he just. Oh, they all will take away just to get this. <laughs> oh, please tell me you didn't eat all the take out by yourself. I wish I could. Really, I do. I really do. <laughs> it was so expensive. Okay, this is Pisa. The Tower of Pisa. They even got the, the flag there, so that was easy. The Leaning Tower of Pisa, of coffee. Missed opportunity with a pizza band tower earlier. Perhaps? Okay. I don't know how it stands, but that makes sense. Oh, uh, was the... Oh my god! Uh... I'm gonna say something stupid and uh, <laughs> probably gonna say, was this Giza? No, what the fuck I'm talking about? That's pyramids. This is in Egypt. Oh my god, she. Oh my god, I only remember Diana took a picture with it. Oh my god, I cannot remember. Oh my god, I cannot remember the place. God dang it, I failed you, my friend. You would not believe the number of the bowls I had to find for the, this Dahi Mahal. Dahi Mahal. I count seven. Oh yeah, that's uh, that that's right. Tahil Mahal, and that's the pyramids I'm guessing. Uh, is that one of the pyramids missing? Yeah. Yeah, someone uh, using it as a top. And uh, someone's using this as pyramids. Uh, the one with a bigger vision, I say. Lovely. Coolio. Okay, let's go. Well done, Quincy. I thought you were gonna be a total douche. But it appears that you're somehow still uh, decent as a human being. This was actually really nice. Thank you for putting it all together for me. Must have taken a while, huh? Well, I don't like to brag, but uh, yes. <laughs> you will not believe how much I had to eat to get all the props. Uh, Liniri, look. I, I know you don't have the time to be distracted from your goals, but I'm not here to do that. I know you can walk your path alone, and it must be hard sometimes. But perhaps it doesn't have to be like that. If you want to see the world, I'll bring it to you. When you need a reason to keep going, I'll remind you. And if you want to be the sky, then maybe, maybe, maybe I can be your earth. Ooh wee! Damn, Quincy, smooth! You are proud of that line, huh? <laughs> well played, Mr. O. It is lonely I'll give you that. Walking this road sometimes, I think. If I have to not look in order to keep going, then how far can I really go? And it's not that I don't want to, believe me. Finding someone settling down. And maybe, maybe even starting a family. It's not the first time I've thought about it. But all this, this isn't why I said it wouldn't be a good idea. I still didn't stop you from putting on the dress tonight. Hey, hey, hey. If it's me you're worried about, uh, you don't have to. I'll be okay. My choice is my own. All you have to decide for is yourself. After all, my grandma raised me to be the way I am, remember? Ah, well done, mom, grandmama. Even if the world ends tomorrow, huh? Hmm, even if the world ends tomorrow. But until then... Oh, well played! Until then. Well played, Quincy! You got it! Well done! I'm proud of you, Quincy! <laughs> you were losing so many points! With, with those three days, you lose so many points, my friend! I thought you were not gonna make it, my friend! But it all is fine and good. Isn't that great, guys? Well... 
Well, well, first, let's see what's gonna happen. Because <laughs> I have a very bad feeling about this. We study together. Study more together. More study together, together study. Hospital, jogging together. Study? St picnic? Uh, what is that? He's talking about the parents. Study. So much study. Ah, they graduated. We're so proud of you, Lin. We always knew you could do it. But I didn't expect you back yourself a cute one while you are at it, too. Mom? <laughs> Mom? That's not appropriate <laughs> for our first meeting. Wait, the meeting uh, during graduation? <laughs> the first meeting of many, I hope. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just so happy. It's been so many years. I just cannot believe how far you come. You just say to you yourself, you yeah, could do it. Now, now, today is for celebrating their accomplishments. Why don't you join us for dinner tonight, Quincy? We can talk about both of your post graduation plans. Okay, thank you, Mr. There you are, Liniri! That's the teacher. Those two? Oh, it's from what? You. you are from. Uh, Rika. Dr. Heinz and Dr. Yus and the uh, Regants. And us, of course, in the flesh. Congratulations! Does this mean I passed their interview? The interview? That was just formality. To confirm that you altered the paper mostly. Say, would you like to attend a party, Liniri? A party? Of uh, introductory sort? On behalf of you, Haynes Foundation, I'd like to extend this invitation to you. So, is this invitation about that day? What should I expect? A professional networking event, of sorts. The details are on the card. Opportunities like this don't come often. We trust that you'll consider it. I will. By the way, it's a formal party, so do dress well. Hmm. <laughs> why? Why? Why so grim? <laughs> you just receive an interview for your job, right? <laughs> why is everything so grim? You still don't know it's gonna end up badly, right? <laughs> so at least make it marry, right? It was like, hmm. Well, that's weird. <laughs> mm, that's weird. All this music, all this grimness. I just graduated <laughs> and I already found job. I don't know. Maybe just me. Ah, that's weird. So those two old people were not uh, her parents. I actually thought they were their pa her parents. Those two old people. Couple. Was thinking the classic, ah, oh, I have a really rich as a holy family kind of deal, you know? Like, uh, something like that. Oh. Okay. So back uh, to the beginning, I guess? And we met her here. Hello. Okay, here we go again. Okay, so uh so now it looks everything cleaner, I believe. This font still looks old and broken down, but but the place as a whole seems more maintained. What all happened to Foxy? Nah, I don't really want to go in now. <laughs> That's supposed to be 3:30. Oh, never mind. It's 3 p.m. So 3.36 they die, basically, that's what you're telling me. What could be? Okay. There I am. Oh, it feels like it's been ages since I last washed my hands here. All these umbrellas, I guess, the guests have all arrived. Oh, right, bot. 
Would you like rice? Wait, you can't see me? Cut it out, rice pot. No one is asking for rice. Uh, would you Riga like rice? No, stop it. Okay. <laughs> hey. Sorry, I'm invisible. As a matter of fact, ooh, I'm a ghost. Silly ghost. Can I still go here? Okay. Yes, they are ready for your uh, upstairs. Why? How'd she. How? Did she teleport it? Right this way. I guess she teleported. Oh, well, yeah, I guess. I'm not going to work anyone because I'm a ghost. Crazy ghost. Crazy ghost. Okay, I'm just gonna shut the fuck up. Why do I actually miss these guys? Uh, well, I got a ball for this? Is that important? Is there anything I have to sh check out? Uh, well, I'll probably just say the old same things. Let's go upstairs. So this is from the U Foundation. Will they actually invest and found the sink wound? Uh, thingy. Okay. Let's go in. Hello? I'm assuming she's one of the founder. It will make a little bit of sense. Oh, this is the conversation I had. The red human to machine memory interfacing. That's right. Well, interfacing and uh, permuting. But you don't have to worry about that. Knowing your area of expertise, we only expect your health with a former memory. That sounds fascinating, even though it wasn't exactly a job posting. Uh, of course not. But it'd be better, isn't it? The research you be doing here will be far beyond the scope of any other on your list. You understand why it's not on the public posting, don't you? I suppose so, but... Uh, why me? Surely there are more experienced candidates? Well, we've done our background check and your particular situation. <clears throat> we, could, <laughs> we could always use some fresh perspective, that's all. Do they know that she's dying? <laughs> so she can all keep royalty, basically? <laughs> And don't sell yourself short, your paper speaks for itself. I, There's no reason for self-doubt. Imposter syndrome is commonplace among talents. Don't let it get to you. Oh, he said the imposter thingy. Oh, it's the title of the game. I'm always gonna do something like that. It's the title of the game. Thanks you for believing me. Well then, now that we are past that stamp, shall we go to sign the NDAs and witness some miracles? First hand, but I already signed NDAs before coming here. Oh, there's always more NDAs, NDAs and waivers. Okay, I really don't like this. I very much don't like this. Waivers? Bureaucracy. You better learn to love the paperwork. I smell bullshit. I think she's smells it too. Hey. Doesn't seem like she's the linear who could see me. I guess this is some kind of a replay? Human machine memory interfacing, huh? So they managed to do it after all. What is the clock? No. Oh, I can't check the clock. 325. There we go. A 326 in uh, 11 minutes, they're gonna die. Everyone's gonna be dead on the floor, crying. Oh, well, I'm done here. Hmm. Oh, but I wonder to see the cat. Hope the bastard is doing alright. Uh, yep. First thing first, am I not invisible? Can I? Like, transparent. I mean, can I pass through it? Can I just get inside? You know? So, something have ha happening here. Likely. This is the first machine of the Sigmund Corporation. And as promised, the prototype. It's like VR set. Oh my gosh! It's hideous! Do you expect us to invest in a printer from the last century? As Dr. Haynes said, it is only a prototype. Although he does have the taste of rather vintage aesthetics. Yep, there we go. There we go. I'm not the one to judge a book by its cover, but... 
If this has the quantum computational capabilities that you proclaim, it's unbelievably small. And I know we made significant progress on cooling, but to practically eliminate it? No, this is mostly a wire client connected to the computing center. Most of the calculation is done elsewhere. That being said, even with the stubbed cerebral data is a standing potential, is evident. Allow me to demonstrate. More data. Yeah, halfway through, guys. I wish she showed the actual demo before everything froze. Well, I guess uh, we're not gonna get that. Wait, is that? I guess it is. I guess they want me to go. They just want me to get the heck out of here. Where am I? Okay. Are uh, we back home? Oh no, Quincy. You're gonna break up, Quincy! <laughs> Ooh, that's the last box. Told you we got everything here by tonight. Hey, what is it? Are you sure about this? Moving all the way here with me because of my job? You had arrangements back home too, didn't you? Well, yeah, but nothing like this. I mean, the U Hyenes Foundation. Whatever you do there, it must be all big to be cutting edge. Still. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. I know how much this means to you. And don't worry, I'm sure I'll figure something out for myself here too. Thanks, Quincy. I'm glad you're here. Of course, I promise I would. Anyhow, let's just settle down and let's get you some rest. Uh, can I have you sleepwalking on your first day tomorrow, huh? Okay. Well, acting almost like a married couple. That's insane. Are we? Are we? The legendary spare room. It could be anything. It could be a study room. Or a pinball room. With bookcases over there. Or a mini golf room. And I finally get a desktop computer over right here. <laughs> or a throne room? Ah, disappointing, huh? Quincy, you, you lost that room privilege the moment you, you proposed for a pinball. The good old mattress again. Why does it feel like I'm going from one dorm to another? It's kind of cozy if you ask me. Yeah, it's kind of small. <laughs> Makes me think of camping. You've never really gone camping before, have you? Not exactly. The bathroom! There's where the magic happens. Here it reminds me. And to mention today, it literally had a golden toilet. Literally? Literally. Wow. Do you want one? Do they really need a seat on a gold to take a dump? Uh, that's a good question. That's a good question. We done? Are we done exploring our new home? We done here. I guess I have to beam me. Do I have to hear my conversation here? It's morning already. I guess I'm going to. Are we arguing? Are we going to fight? I have a strong feeling we're going to fight. Okay, how do I look? Office lady? Well, I don't mean to alarm you, but there's a person attached to your hairband. And she looks kick-ass. <laughs> I'll be back by supper. Who we'll used that word? <laughs> What the fudge use that word? Oh, jokes of fart. I was like, I'll be back for dinner, you know. I was like, no, I'll be back for supper. I was like, the fudge? <laughs> oh, who oh, say supper nowadays? Come on, <laughs> go on, you're gonna do great. <laughs> I'm sorry, okay? I don't know what you will use supper. This game for 2021, you don't really have an excuse. What do I do? Do I just look intensely to Quincy? To myself? Back to the mansion? Oh, okay. Wow, is that a real fox? No, it's just a sentient fox tail. Of course it's a real fox. Why won't it come out? Uh, that's real shy fox. Let's go with that. The others have already arrived. Uh, Rika wants you... Wow. Did I misread something? I can't find her, thanks. Okay, immediately like that. Okay, that's weird. Why I'm working inside the mansion? This is weird. 
Should I have like an office? Or something? Where is everybody? I mean, say they arrived already. They already gone to the lab. Oh no, I'm late for the commute. No, quite. <laughs> Secret entrance room. Okay, we are doing something illegal. If you are doing this, come on aboard. We are doing something definitely illegal here. I don't believe for a second we are not doing something legal. I'm going down. We are definitely going to do something illegal. There's not a single cell of my bloody ass we are not doing something illegal. <laughs> this is James Bond. Shit. Even the music say James Bond. This is James Bond. Evil shit. This is just one of several branches of our core development center. As you might guess, it's also one of the most discreet. Wow, this uh, whole place. The whole place? I knew there was something off about this place. Racist bot and this robot! I knew it! It was never just a rice cooker, was it? The rice cooker is on to lose again! Hey! Get back here! If the chef's sleeping, no doubt the chef again, I swear I'm gonna... Dr. Kim? Is that an important character? I mean, they, they have a sprite. It's a rice cooker. Okay. <laughs> Disappointment. Yep, he's a just regular ass rice cooker. Come on, I'll give you two. I'll buy it. If I have money to spend, I'll buy a mobile rice cooker. A Zumba, uh, a Roomba, a Roomba mobile rice cooker. I'll definitely buy it. I don't care. That's that's golden. I'm just like I I want rice. I just like rice cooker. Just call it, and he's coming. Bring it to rice, like just one rice. The cafeteria and recreation room. Wow, sir. The chef sends meals down to chef twice a day. Just give them your order. I thought it was strange that there were three chefs here. Well, that's actually interesting. Is there any particular reason to have this thing? Uh, purple pot. The symbol looks very familiar. It must be the Sigma one, right? Am I wrong? Uh, do I recall correctly? Well, I'm done. I guess there was too much to unveil. Anyway, let's go to the next room. There's so much to explore. <laughs> that is so much more fun than exploring our small apartment. Here's the residence for on-site collaborators. If things go well, we might invite you a room here. Uh, thanks, but I already got a place elsewhere. Well, you wouldn't have to commute, but also I don't think they will allow Quincy to get in here. Do you think Hugh Haynes failed and someone else took the Sigmund? Uh, sorry, someone else took the business? Just, uh, there's probability. They died, probably. Of course, it's a honor to have you here. Uh, thank you, I'll do my best. Toto Haynes, are you still there? Oh, excuse me. Uh, I'm here. Regarded the contract is not in our interest to fund the project without a say on the board. The board is not the only way to have a say, Mr. Armstrong. You should go and meet Dr. Yu in the West Wing. She's in charge of your research team. There's so much to unveil. Like. No, the project you will be working on is only one of several that we're pursuing here. But, psst, it's my favorite. Uh, Ricebot? Except for you, Ricebot. Shall we show Lini her station? Why everyone is mean to Ricebot? It's the best bot you can have. He makes rice. Show the facility in uh, the maintenance. But Dr. Clegg is there as we speak. Also, take rice bot back upstairs, will you? Of course. Would you like rice? Not now, dear, but thanks. Okay. I like some rice, rice bot. I like, <laughs> I'd like some rice. <laughs> yes, I will love some rice. I'll take your spot this character. And a human no machine interfacing. Not as much progress, we're still focusing on stop data. We got some new hires on that front, I hope it will make some progress soon. If only I could use Ctrl F on all the print salts. If only. Wait, you can now. <laughs> everything also <laughs> everything is almost being digitalized. We have a GPT. So what else do you want to do? Okay, I think we're done. Is there anything else? We're done with the bowls? Can we go now? There you go. Dr. Louis Clang should be there. He arrived at the residence here a few days earlier. 
I believe you already met at a party. I remember. Let's go, right spot. Okay, let's go then. Yellow. Nice blocked, as always. Get out of my face! Uh, uh. Wow. They actually... Uh, so fresh doctorate, huh? This is the fridge! Isn't this the fridge? Isn't that the fridge from the quantum computing thingy? Meme? Am I wrong? I don't remember. There was like a quantum computer. and It looked like that or something like that. To be honest, I was surprised when I saw you at the party the other day. But to actually see you here... Dr. Yu said my paperheads have been helpful to the projects. I try my best to apply my findings. Your paper? I read your paper. No offense, but there's nothing there that she didn't know already. What do you mean? Why do you need me then? What they had down here, I've deconstructed. There's no way to have made all this progress without having already known about your findings. Dr. Yu and her team must have already figured it all out years ago. Years ago? But then, why were their findings not published? Are you serious? These are some purist academia spreading knowledge for the betterment of humanity. I say money, but uh, the interest groups involved are a lot more complicated than that. Regardless, look. If you are looking to make a difference in the world, this is the, still the place. I mean, <laughs> it may be a while before the public gets a taste, but uh, here. Here's where it all starts. And I go to the door. Let's go into the wide door. Come on. Okay, that's very confusing. Why they need me then? I mean, if you already found everything, if you already, like, you know, that's such much progress. Why do you call me? Because they know I'm dying? Okay, a lot of uh, memory. Working memory. Thank you again for having me here. I'm learning so much already. Fitting in well, I take it. We uh, will introduce you to the main project on Monday. Uh, do keep confidentiality in mind. I'll be ready. I'm home! Hey, how was work? Not bad for first week. I think I'm getting a hang of it. Mm, what you uh, making there? Oh, just uh, just you wait. Uh, for the most amazing carrot cake you'll ever eat. Lovely! Carrot cake, yay! I think I never had a good one, you know? I was like, oh wow, damn, that's a nice cake. I never had a good carrot cake my entire life, so my um, my standards are very like meh. I don't have a good experience with it. Okay, why there's a cat there? Why Strodinger is there? Something happening? Well, I'm pretty sure I found the issue. Mind staying a bit longer to run some tests? Uh, sure, I'm here to help. Okie dokie. Hey, uh, sorry I'm back late. Uh, everything okay? Uh, yeah, there are always issues to fix, but uh, we'll get through it. Oh, of course, uh, they got you. I'll go heat up dinner. Is this the part with the fraction? The dating part to go a little bit bonkers? You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? Walking hard. Mm. The interface mode is still behind schedule, though we are making progress. But the investors are expecting a demo. Or should we be ready for my next visit? Yeah, we'll make it. By the way, have you told more about the residence offer, Liniri? We even have a vacant room ready for you. Everything will surely be easy that way. Money! Should be ideal to hire more, but we actually become productive sometimes. Oh damn, she arrived tomorrow. Sorry I'm so late again at... Oh, poor Quincy. <laughs> Liniri, you're losing points very quick. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> She's doing a very important job, okay? Wait, what? She's doing an MRI? That's weird. That's weird. 
That's weird. Well, regulation be damned, but progress is progress. Still, you sure you want to demo this next week? Yes, uh, it's a honor, really. It's, it's come a long way. I'm glad it could be part of this. You really want that thing? Okay. Shoot, I forgot it was today. What? Your birthday? Birthday party? What's worse today? The coffee's still hot, so... I don't know. Working out. Living at the campus on your own? But we got this place. I haven't agreed to it yet. But you're, you're seriously thinking about it. I mean, it only be for a while. That... That's what you said about working late. Uh, now it's every night. I, I know, it's just... We're doing something amazing, Quincy. And we're so close. This could change the world. This is what I always wanted to do. Look, I know I haven't been around for us as much as should. I'm sorry about that. But I thought we both knew what I had to do from the start, didn't we? You said you understood that you give me a reason to keep going. That you bring me to where to see so I can stay and do this. I know I sound selfish, but I never asked for it. I never would have said yes if I knew it wasn't what you really wanted. Oh, of course I wanted to. I wouldn't still be here if it weren't. I mean, I meant what I said and I've been trying so hard to just do that. I just thought we'd still be able to have more than just this. I know I said that I'd bring you the word, but... I guess at some point I still wanted to see the word with you, too. And now, it all just feels farther and farther away. This isn't really fair to you, though, is it? I guess I don't know what I was really expecting. I'm sorry. I really cannot stay and talk more about this right now. I'm already so late and we're supposed to be presenting our progress to the investor today. But uh, we'll talk about this later, okay? Yeah. That's red flags. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, it is what it is, I guess. I don't blame her. I, s I honestly don't. <laughs> that's uh, that's uh, interesting work. Not something you give, give up. No wonder nobody on the engineer team has a social life. That's so much rough. So much to deal with. What the heck? What? What happened? Hey. What's, what happened here? The premise is closed, are you affiliate? I work here. Liniri! Hey, uh, what's going on? What's that? Louis? It didn't work. The ambassador were already here and we were waiting and... So Louis, he did the demo in your place but they wanted a live test. He did the demo in my place? Dr. Haynes and Dr. Yu are still inside, talking with the others, they said. Liniri, wait! Oh my god. You expect Dr. Clegg to just die? Should I be aware of it? No, never mind, I guess. That's so weird. But what good is a memory interfacing machine if it kills the user? We don't know that for sure. It's just uh, one failed attempt. Well, good luck with more attempts under all the regulation this is going to trigger. We're under the radar, we cannot get around those. No, you were under the radar. Yeah, and now you are like totally over it. Either way, if there is a fundamental incompatibility with writing these memories, that surely doesn't bode well for the core of the project. 
Oh, you bunch are so pessimistic. Haven't you heard of a pivoting? Let's not lose our heads over a little setback. How is this a little setback? Yeah. What even is the point of a memory interfacing if they die in the process? Well... Linieri? Wait, Linieri! Okay. That happened? That was quite unexpected. You expect Dr. Glegg to die. Did she refuse to work? Oh, she refused to work. She just quit? I'm just going forward. I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay by just ignoring everything and everyone. Did Quincy left? Hey, you are back early. What's wrong? I want to go. You want to go live at the residence? No. I want to go see the world with you. Okay, that's... Coolio? Wanna blame her? I mean, just one of my co-workers just died. <laughs> okay, I guess we are going. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, after this... Wowzer? I didn't expect Dr. Clegg to die, to be honest. Uh, that was... Uh, I didn't... I really was out of my radar, to be honest. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I have been, uh, been true about a little bit of the development of the Sigmund Corporation. It appears that uh, we somehow hit a big uh, plonk of a haltiness and uh, our fellow colleagues died. Uh, I guess that happened. And as always, hope you enjoy this. Uh, as always, thank you for watching. And a lovely day, a lovely evening, and go lovely bye.